Okay. So, St. Gab's dad's football team, the history of uh, something for future generations, just like any great initiative, and also people who are joining it for the first time might be useful to know about the history of it. Um, so, um, when our kids started at St. Gab, so the oldest one was there from nursery to A-levels, and then the second girl joined from nursery to sixth form. Uh, very shortly, I talked to uh, the Bursa, Mr. Erskine, about having dad's football night indoors and he said oh, Monday nights are available and since 2008 or 7 we've been religiously playing come rain or shine uh, Monday night at 7 30 or 7 uh, one of the reasons for that was that uh, for me, when I was younger, I wasn't playing football at all, whereas I was brought up with street football all my life. And as uh, in my 20s, I was mainly doing karate, and then the company started, and in order to play football, you need a group of people. And it wasn't important to me at all. And then until I, uh, I got married in the sort of 30s, late 30s, started going somewhere and playing Friday night, and when the girls came to this school, we moved the area. I wanted to have something to play with decent people, not just any Tom or Dick or Harry on a Sunday league that would whack you. And I've got nothing to lose and uh, no other purpose in life, probably. Uh, so this, uh, the Bursa said yes, and we started. So we... I, there is a video of staff game in 2008 outside, which the first one we won 2 1. Some of the people are still playing who were in that game. And so I think it was two, must have been 2007. This is October 2008. So basically, let's say 2008. So now, 2014, we're talking about 16 years. No, 2024. Which year are we in? 2024, yeah. So it's 16 year anniversary. During that time, we've had all sorts of people. We've had situation that there were only four people turned up. So I've played two against two. There was a situation that once I was there and nobody was there. And we've managed to ride, ride the, the good times and the bad times and ride the wave of low turnout. And for me, it's very much like starting a business, any sort of initiative. You just have to persevere. And a lot of people would give up. We could have given up, and especially after COVID, when everything changed. But we continued, and now it's stronger than ever. During that period, probably, I think, all these years, we've had at least 100 different people playing. Currently on the list are 30. Half of them turn up, usually and more turn up for outdoor season. So it's indoors during the dark times, outdoor. So indoors is obviously numbers are limited, although we could have three teams. Outdoor is uh, you could have as many as seven or eight per side. So for me, it's my lifeblood of the week. And as I got older, it has become more important. And uh, it's really what makes my week. And like any initiative, personally, it's very important to get the right caliber of people coming with the right attitude. Personally, I don't have time for attitude and arguments and too much whacking, whacking as well as waffling. And uh, like any sort of well-run organizations, the people are very important to be the right caliber of people. And thank God, now we have. In the past, we've had to ask 
one person to leave, that's the only incident. And at least one person has had a warning. And, uh, and because it's built for the right reason, it has continued. We've played at so many different locations on the nights that the school hall was not available, mainly through exams, probably at least 15 different locations, including people's houses, our garden on a small basis, other people's big, big gardens, other schools, other playgrounds. And uh, it's been great. And I'm loving it as much as I always loved it. Hope others can connect to it in the same way. And obviously they, they seem to. So we've got a great group of people through initiatives of lots of friends who've actually like the idea of doing something with decent people. It's competitive but friendly. There's, there's nothing wrong in being competitive. What's happening out there in the big wide world, the competitiveness comes at the price of cheating, at the price of cutting into people and winning at all costs. Whereas if the competitiveness is in the right spirit, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So that it's not all about winning, but we are precious about winning. But if something happens, you have to hold your hand and apologize and don't create uh, enemies or, or feelings, bad feelings. So I felt this video could be useful for future and if people want to find out about the background of St. Gap's football. Uh, I can't think of anything else, long it may continue. But the spirit is very important, the attitude is important. Moaning and groaning and complaining, I feel sick about. And, uh, you know, it's just chatting and wasting time. And also specifically for me, football is totally different to other activities. You know, I used to, to do karate, as I mentioned, and then even in, during those days, maybe once a year, if once every four years in my 20s, I played football. And I thought I was fit because I was doing uh, martial art. Realized that I wasn't at all. It's totally different fitness. The sweat that comes out, comes out, I'm drenched. So I really enjoy that. So that's on the physical side, but also in terms of the value to school and parents, it brings parents together. It brings dads together, it creates something another dimension for the school. So it's great for the school to offer this thing for the parents. And uh, we played with other private school uh, teams in the past. And uh, I played with other, another school where my son moved to another school. And that, that's been great. So it's really building connection, building relationship, camaraderie, and bringing like-minded people, hopefully, uh, together and now the people that I know for 10, some people 15 years. There are definitely some people who have been there from day one. And uh, it's, it's, it's great and we've had social activities which have been great going out. And that is also another part of it. And uh, so that's, that's it.